What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. We are lifting at the shop gym, which is about 25 minutes away from mine. Ah, oh, sour apple pre-workout while I'm lifting some ghost size and the brand new Sour Patch Kids watermelon BCAAs. This stuff is so good. I am a sour candy fanatic. Find anyone that likes sour candy more than me and I'll show you a liar, guys. This stuff comes out on Thursday. I want to do like a really cool IG post because I like to go above and beyond, but I haven't really figured out what I want to do yet. All right, guys, my ham dog millionaires are screaming right now. Very sore, but we're going to push through and do some squat variations today. We're doing low pin squats. You have not seen this on the channel yet. We have the safety bars set right here, right at parallel. So the bar is going to completely rest on these, take all the tension off our back, and we're going to go back up. This does a couple things. Obviously, it's going to have carryover to our squat, this variation, but also it allows you to focus on like controlling the weight down because you're not just going to want to dive bomb because the safeties are here. And then when you go down, it allows you to try to stay in your form because I have a big problem where I'll go down and then I'll kind of, my hips will rise and I'll shoot the bar up with my back. So this allows me to go down, really stay in that position and try to just keep my back uh, as straight as possible and go back up. So if you haven't tried these, maybe incorporate them in on a second day. Just doing 335 pounds, a set of four. Here we go, dude. Also, I forgot my knee sleeves. Ooh, kind of pissed about that. Thank God I have these stretchy pants though. It's programming, we're three weeks in, it's starting to get a little heavy, it's starting to get a little heavy. Next up is some tap and go bench, this is our third set, 215 pounds. Are y'all enjoying like documenting this strength progress? It's nice being on a program. Yeah. It's just not going to be nice if like I follow a program to a T and I don't get any stronger. It's because your diet stop, sucks, dude. It's because you're, you're ugly, dude. Ah. Ah. Ooh, these are tap and go, by the way. Ooh. 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 Woo! Damn, my pinky almost started hurting. I don't know if, if y'all been watching, following my channel for a long time. I've always talked about this like ulnar nerve issue that I've had in my right hand. It only it happens just periodically, it's really annoying. It's just right here, it's like excruciating pain. Like if I take the bar off and it starts, like I'll physically have to rack, I'll, I can't lift without like when it's starting to do it. it. Really hurts, I don't know what it is. It's been happening for years though. I'm probably dying, I don't know. Ugh. All right guys. Stuck. Luckily I got small legs, right? Uh, I just got some news, uh, some bad news for me. So the meet that I was planning on doing in December is at this gym. Last time I did the deadlift party, it was with the deadlift bar, but the meet is actually USAPL, which if you didn't know, they use a, a stiff bar in competition. Now I have competed with the stiff bar and I've pulled 600 pounds in competition. Obviously, I'm used to the whip of a Delafar, a train of Delafar. So now I need to make the decision. You guys can help me. Like, do I switch to the stiff bar and compete and maybe have not as high of a deadlift? Anything over 600 would be a PR on the stiff bar, but. Or do I just keep training with the Delafar and just try to, you know, max out in the gym with my training? Leave your comments down below. I got a feeling everyone's gonna want me to switch to the stiff bar, but I hate, I hate the stiff bar. I hate it. What should I do? Help! Lunch time. Oh my, hey, gay guys. What's up? 
Hey, don't be too excited to see me, alright? <laughs> Habitat Burger, never even heard of this place. Uh, Habit Burger, never even heard of this place. Cheeseburger, no mayo, sweet potato fries. There's two things, oh, let's just get this out of the way. We can't be friends if A, you think that regular fries are better than sweet potato fries, because you're just wrong. That's not an opinion, you're just wrong. And two, if you think that mustard is not better than ketchup. Ketchup is trash compared to mustard. Ooh, oh my god, here we go. A1 sauce, baby. Yeah, is your mouth watering? I know mine is. Pretty good. It's pretty good, dude. All right, so before it starts raining, we're up here on this parking deck. My friend Heeman over here Hi. is starting a clothing line called what? All you. All, All you. you. It's right here. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be modeling some of the joggers right now. I'm gonna be on the website, I think, am I? Yes, you are. Woo! Mama, look at me now! So I'm gonna show you some of the photos that Kevin edited. So if they suck, no matter what, they'll be on the screen. Check them out. So it's the final day before my diet actually starts. My car didn't lock right there. I hate everything. I suck at like cheat days. Like my, my cheat day is gonna be Panda Express and like a pizza later. <laughs> You're so crazy, that's why you can't gain your weight. Ah! I literally forget Sobe still exists. Does anyone, do you drink Sobe? I don't know. I haven't drank this since I was like 10 years old. All right, for meal one, we got white rice, orange chicken, Beijing chicken, and then the best thing at Panda Express Sweet fire chicken breast. I feel like places like Panda are hit or miss. Sometimes you eat it and it's delicious, and sometimes you eat it and you're like, it feels like every piece was just like stuck to the bottom of the pan and it's like chewy. And just... Not today, Satan. All right, so sometimes sad Drake music just isn't enough to fall asleep. I'm thinking about getting like a sleep aid. I've, done, I've used melatonin before in the past. It gives you those wacky dreams. But I'm gonna try out something like z with di, di, diphenhydramine HCI, not habit forming sleep aid. But guys, fun fact, okay? If you're ever like, oh my God, I only get the real brands like z Max, you're getting off brand, you peasant. Guys, they literally have to be identical. Big facts, big facts. Only fools get name brand uh, over-the-counter medication. Yeah, fools. And fools fall in love, but. Next thing I need to restock on is some lotion to lube my body up when I get out of the shower. Now this stuff, I, I kind of contradict myself because this I'm gonna get name brand. I don't trust off brand. Okay, you know what, just ignore what I said. Just buy whatever you want. But guys, there's two things that I try to promote on my channel. One, drinking a smoothie every day. And two, is lubing up your body and your face when you get out of the shower. Moisturize, kids. I don't need to moisturize. Moisturizing is for chicks, dude. Okay, I can't wait to hang out with you when you're 50, you gross looking person. Um, that might be enough. All right, so for dinner, we got ourselves some delicious pizza from Papa John's. And guys, let me just say that Papa John's is in fact the best delivery service. I wish Little Caesars delivered because I actually think they like Little Caesars the most. But we got some garlic knots and a medium pizza because I just, I'm not someone like, I'm just not someone who has like the biggest appetite and like, I just don't feel like I could eat a large right now. We got spicy sausage and green peppers. Probably not gonna eat every single one of those. Let me show you what I'm doing. You guys can see what exciting stuff a 29 year old does. We organize our laundry. We're about to put the whites in the dryer. Look at that, separating. 
my darks from my lights. Oh my gosh, Max, you're so old. This is where I spend 90% of my time when I'm home, uh, just doing some work, whether it be like adjusting samples. Uh, right now I am looking at golden doodle videos and doing emails. So I'll probably take a little break from that. Eat some pizza, maybe play some Fortnite. I keep talking about Fortnite and Twitch. It's a lot of fun. If you have ever wanted to like ask me questions and stuff, it's a live chat. You watch me play the game, we hang out. It's a fun time, okay? Just come on, hang out. Link in the description, dude. Let me eat one of these. I know you, I know you crazy kids love when I eat food on camera. You freaks! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, watch Where this. Did... Oh. 279. That's crazy. What? Wait. That's what? dual 279 Wait. shots right there, dude. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I appreciate your support as always. If you could just take two seconds, just, just two seconds, just two and smash thumbs up button. That, I really appreciate it. Just two seconds, gosh darn it. Just with your thumb or your, your mouse, two seconds, it's all it takes. Anyway, very special package that came today. I need your help with this. The first decision we have to decide, or you guys need to help me, is should we switch to the stiff bar? I need your comments down below. Should we compete, go to the stiff bar, or maybe deadlift a little bit less, still in the 600s, or deadlift a little bit more, not be in an official meet setting, and just stay with the deadlift bar and maybe just try to PR in the gym. Leave your decision down below. This is decision number two. This is a very special package. This is Project X. I'm starting a new company and I wanna tell you guys about it and you're gonna be a big part of it and I think you're gonna, I, I know you are going to love it and it's nothing to do with fitness. I guess maybe kinda, but it, it, it's nothing fitness-y, right? Um, it's not clothing, and I'm just so excited. This is a new manufacturer sample, and the original plan that I was gonna do is I was gonna document everything uh, of this company, and then when it was ready, you know, when it was kind of moved more along, I was going to show you a video of all the old footage compiled into one. But we actually might be going out to the manufacturing plant Ooh. We might be going out to the manufacturing plant in a couple weeks if these samples are good. And I, I was thinking maybe instead of just like hiding it from you guys, maybe I document the entire thing. I tell you what it is and you see it from birth until it's a gigantic ass company and you're like, Max, dude, <laughs> congrats, man. This, I love this brand, this company, this product so much. I'm so excited. This is, this is super, super exciting. So leave a comment down below. Stiff bar or Della Bar, and then should, we, should I just keep it like under wraps and just make one video when it's completely ready and then I start documenting? Or should just like, when I go to the factory, maybe in like three weeks, I start documenting there and you see the entire thing. Um, I'm very, very excited. It's, it's new business endeavors are just super fun. You think I was gonna stab myself? All right, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, I'm gonna go to the gym and it's gonna be sick. Gonna lift weight. This. These clouds are just so sick. Yep, rain is so cool. All right, peace.